Well, hello, and welcome to this little, let's just call this a channel update for me. Uh, I know I've kind of been a little bit more relaxed with my video output over the past couple weeks, and I'd been meaning to get this out earlier, but because of the same stuff that was causing me not to be able to put the videos out, was preventing me from actually being able to make this. And it's kind of awkward now because some of the stuff is past, but some of it could still come up. Uh, basically, life's got kind of a little bit more intense over the past couple of weeks. I had to, uh... Well, let's see. First off, I, I, I might have mentioned this before, but I'm currently doing college online. Uh, last two weeks got pretty intense with what they wanted me to do. It wasn't that much. But on top of what I was doing with college, which was pretty time consuming, I was also had to take my dad to the doctors three times last week. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I had to take him to the eye doctors. Uh, one of the, his eyes got messed up. So, and also, if you go to the eye doctors anyway, they dilate your eyes. So you have somebody else to drive you anyway, like back to begin with. So I did that a bunch of times, and he had surgery on his eyes one day. So that took to most of the day up for that. Uh, and then also, my grandfather's been getting bad again. I know I mentioned that before with his dementia or whatnot. So there was lots of stuff with that and college going on. And I had to get college done, so I wasn't really able to work on the videos like I wanted to. And I've released a couple that weren't really up to the quality I would normally like to release them at. But I just kind of said, screw it, I need to release something. And I thought releasing it bad would be better than not releasing anything, but I kind of feel bad about doing that now. Also, I'm at the point, like, with at least Xenonauts, <laughs> each episode's getting about to the point where it's going to have to be two parts. Because I don't really want to make a video that is longer than 30 minutes, but I don't want to make one that's shorter than 20 minutes, really. And each episode is about 40 something minutes long. So I've been breaking those into two parts now. Come get into the bigger UFOs. <coughs> so, that's what's coming along with that. And so, if anybody would like a soldier name on Xenonauts, feel free. I will put you on the list for when one opens up, I can put you on there. Uh, so far, we've only had Captain Pink one put on. He requested a name, but he died quick. Although it's kind of okay, his soldier wasn't really that good. Well, uh, since nobody has really subscribed yet, or requested one, I think I'm going to give him a replacement once I get a new soldier came in. But, so basically, that's going on with Xenonauts. It's... I like doing the two videos a week, and I'm not sure if I should just do it because I'm making each episode now, or well, each mission, two episodes. If I only do one mission a week, which is kind of small, but I do have two whole parts added. <coughs> so I'm thinking of changing to that instead of trying to do what essentially be four episodes a week. Because the upload thing can be kind of tricky with the internet, because I use that for college, so I can't necessarily do that while I'm doing college sometimes, depending on what I'm doing with college. Also, uh, you probably noticed what I'm playing now in the background, that is Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 1. Uh, I have decided to try starting a series on that. I didn't really want to do two series at the same time, but I had always kind of wanted to do that game, and at the same time a lot of stuff was happening. It went on sale for less than, I think, $20 with all the DLC stuff, and it was normally like 40 or 50 bucks with all that stuff. So I decided, you know what I want it, I'll go ahead and get it now, and I started playing it. I wanted to make a video of it, but I decided I'd play to get the control scheme and everything in check, which is a good thing I did. That's... It's, very awkward, and I had to lay it out in a way that I could work with. I still mess up with it all the time, though, but it's laid out in a good enough way for me to use it with mouse and keyboard. But, uh, so I started playing that. I'm actually... The video in the background is after the first episode. I just went grinding a little bit. 
to work up some more levels because I wasn't going to do that on video. I will I'll go ahead and mention it now if you're interested in that. What I'm basically be doing is every time I come to a new dungeon, I will go through it one time on video, any events, anything that happened, I'll go do them. But then off camera, I'll come back and do a lots of grinding there. I'm not going to do that on camera, but I will show you what the full dungeon looks like on camera at least once. But, uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing with that we'll game. Win. It's we'll win. it's a pretty funny JRPG type game. I wouldn't really say tongue and cheeky because it's mainly just making jokes about video games. It's not so much trying to be tongue and cheeky. It's just flat we'll out making jokes about that stuff. But it, it's pretty fun. I like it. It's I like the setting. It makes me laugh. It's artsy, cute, good music, everything. Basically what I like in the game. So yeah, I decided I'd go ahead and try playing that for my channel if anybody's interested in that. If not, I'll probably maybe just stop it and play it on myself. Because uh, I, I would like to play more of that game. I really like it. But I figure there might be at least a couple people who will like a video of it. If if not, just mention it in the video if you don't mind. Uh, if nobody really cares to see it, I'll just move on. I might just you know, put more focus on Xenonauts. Because that will take a little bit of focus away from Xenonauts. But I was thinking maybe one video of that a week. And the two videos of Xenonauts. Or one mission of Xenonauts, essentially, a week. So that's basically what's going on, on my channel. Uh, I know it's been a little slow recently and I want to get this update out. Uh, it took me a little bit longer to do that than expected. Some stuff has changed since the time of originally wanting to do this video. And if it sounds a little weird the way I'm bringing things up, it's because I had it all planned out. But the things I was going to talk about have changed. Like I was one point supposed to be on spring break for college, but then I wasn't, and then I was, and it's, it, I don't know what I was doing. But I think at the time of writing this, I'm technically on spring break, or I'm picking this as spring break. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it, it got weird. Life was weird the last couple of weeks. But now, hopefully, everything should be back in order. I'll probably still take my dad to the doctors every now and then, and the next coming weeks, but... It shouldn't be as often as it was two weeks ago. So I might be a little bit lax for content over the next couple of weeks, but it shouldn't be as bad as it has been. Also, if anybody is interested in this, I'm thinking about doing a special thing for Xenonauts. About every 10 episodes, I was thinking about going back and making a video which I have edited together showing all of the soldiers who have died up to that point and how they died. And maybe throw in a couple other things. If anybody would be interested in me doing that, feel free to go ahead and mention it. I would like to that, but it will take a little bit more effort and I could put that into actually making other videos. Like making new ones. So if you have any opinion about that, go ahead and mention it. I'll probably go ahead and do it for the at least the first ten. I'm about to upload part 10A and part 10B soon. So we'll have all those episodes up and then I'll go ahead and clip those together. There have been some interesting things, thanks to Maria, but uh... Yeah, that has been fun. I've really enjoyed playing that on my channel. I've I always liked uh, the XCOM type of games and I would probably play more of the original XCOM, but... It does have a couple of things in it to me which feel a little old and somewhat broken, like how aliens can shoot through corners and walls and stuff. There's some things that just aren't as well made as I would say Xenonauts is, because they put a little bit more polish into it. Well, it's newer. It's not going to be how an old game is, but... So that's basically why I'm playing that. Although, if anybody is interested, once I get done with Xenonauts, I might do the original XCOM. They have a... Uh, open XCOM? Uh, what, I think it's Open XCOM. The really good fan-made type thing to it. Makes it a little bit more polished and has more options into it and whatnot. Well, I've seen it, but it's very good. Also, I have been interested in, and I don't know if anybody would really care to see me do this, 
uh, play a little bit of the latest uh, build they've released for Unreal Tournament. Oh, yeah, Unreal Tournament 4. I am a big fan of the Unreal franchise, and what I have played of it, the new one seems like it's going to be pretty good. I might make a couple videos for that every now and then. If anybody would like to see me really do that, go ahead and tell me. I'll probably do it anyways, but saying yes, I'll probably make more. Uh, uh, oh, and I have been working on doing some... Not, well, not, let's say co-op, but some uh, stuff with some other people. Uh, I've been doing a couple of different things with Commander Useless on his channel. That was back when I was a little bit more busy and I couldn't really do stuff on my own channels, so I did stuff with him and he put it on his channel. And we might do some more stuff like that. I think we should have some more things coming up, including the Japanese version of the Game of Life. That, that should be pretty fun. But, uh, I recommend checking out his channel. He's pretty cool. Taisi is also fun. He's had stuff happen with him, uh, so he hasn't been around as much, but he he's always fun. Uh, unless he has a stun rod, but, uh, well, I guess it depends if you're on the other side of the stun rod. But anyways, I recommend go checking out their channel, the uh, TFP channel, Two Fools Play. It's pretty good, pretty good. They're nice quality. But... Yeah, so if you're interested, I recommend going check out their channel to give them some l give them some love, essentially. Like something, I don't know. Watch it. Watch him get beaked. I don't know. Watching him get beaked was fun for me, at least. But anyways, I, I digress. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's basically it for this update video. Hope I didn't ramble too much. It was... It was weird how things changed that I was going to talk about in this before doing it. I was, I was prepared for this video, but then they just life was just like, ah, you can, screw you. Yeah, fun times, fun times. Uh, so anyways, I guess I'll go ahead and leave this there. Hope go ahead and leave before somebody tries to call me and ruin this. So uh, until then, this is Paul Gipley signing off. Goodbye and have a wonderful day. This may hurt a bit. I did it too. Finally. Gonna hit ya.